Groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Just give me a moment, I'm... Gonna need to... Oh, someone entered. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Ooh, one more thing. Okay, okay, now I'm ready. I'm ready, let's go. go. Emerson, this should I... corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Am I one? I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in artists. Is it a, a different game? Uh, here we have. I don't think you have another thing. I'm gonna try to escape them. Nope. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. I wonder what the painting is all in black. Alan? Okay. That's all. Oh, the elevator. I'm gonna first check. Okay. Creepy. Or not. That's what you see. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No, no way. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. <laughs> You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Mm -hmm. okay. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Okay. So who's right? You might be <clears throat> semi right, right? Oh, nice clock. Cold Lake. <clears throat> Lodge 1912. <clears throat> Beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminate. Oh, TZ. Uh, the actor, the author. In the memory of the dear friend and the poet. I'm here. Go ahead. 
<sighs> I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Okay, it so that's some Europe pick. a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Oh. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Oh. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the myself. palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once no, you do you not. accept that, we can that's begin okay. the journey towards your recovery. Yeah, he is a... Come along. Let's go inside. Speaker, huh? Yeah, okay, you're normal, you're Here's normal. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Okay, hello, doctor. Patient rooms upstairs. Where do we go? Scary, oh, there's a coffee, okay. Scary, scary. First, I'm gonna go grab this coffee. Since I'm, I'm already... Notice that. And there's another QR code. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. You don't want to run into me in the night. That's I think I've missed sure. one on the third one. Mr. Wake is the third one uh, chapter. Yeah, you don't recall go away so you won't be finding one. You can't just Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe Emerson. that was the reason for the generator okay. and the work okay. light on the sorry, balcony. Sorry, sorry. The generator hadn't uh. been activated, mm -mm. and there was no key. No key. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was something to touch. Uh, maybe not. It's just subtitles. Hello, maybe. Alan, please, this way. I'm gonna go this way first. What do you paint? Oh, hello. I've painted you. It's me? Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them, he has them in his office. Yeah. He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Okay. I mean, you might be just a normal painter, right? <clears throat> so that's what you do. You paint something that you imagine, right? <clears throat> oh, there's something to create or dilemma. In engaging, you move by Dr. Emil Hartmann, the author of the best selling creative book. His groundbreaking techniques and engagement therapy in the flow explained in his own words. Now available in the bookstores across the country. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Dining room, okay, and here. Welcome to the lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients need for privacy and personal space, especially when they are engaged by their creative processes. And be patient. Okay. 
Keep your life. Your patients have long-term creative problems in this, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you are voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy, PM, and its sister method, Deflopium. Work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please do not hesitate to voice them. I doubt you would. She might. Oh, there is a game. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a. How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the seventies and eighties cool. called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. That board game doesn't look no, that won't too real. Be. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Zane! You're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. Huh? The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Why? Why did they call me Tom? My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, you got any booze on you? Just give me one. Yeah, like uh... This. Uh, like this? Something, something? Okay. No, <laughs> sorry. We guys. have a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula, local ingredients, medicine clears your head right up. Make sure you remember. Mm. So like the board game doesn't look like, like you know. You see, there is like one, two, three, four, five, oh, five spots to from the start to finish, whatever. Of course, I don't know That's the, the kinds. Why I see two dice and Don the same pose all white. I wonder what the mechanics are. Too, the damn witch. She used us mm -hmm. all, taken from all. Now let's go back. Return to your room. Yeah. Good thing he's not overreacting or anything. Me? Well, he's the boss. Okay, boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they get. I'm gonna. Doc's got me looking after Wake here. Gonna try to repair this, I guess. No, I cannot. Okay. Hey, Wake. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. Who was speaking? Who was speaking to me? I mean, like... <laughs> okay. Let's go and write. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? 
Give me flashlight. And I'm okay. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hammer? I don't know. Good to the hell, really? Hammer? Crazy brothers, are you? Not so weak now, are we? Oh. Going to see the real hammer in the Oh, two, two pages. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Huh? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office room from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. You close someone there. My manuscript pages. Oh, okay, this guy. That's where he'd be keeping them. Come out and face the music. Go to Hartman's office. To yeah, don't worry about the nurse. Churchable time with Tara and Odin. The markings on the tape said they were okay, the Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment. I couldn't breathe right. Those are the nightmares. Those are the nightmares that we see in the forest. To the lady. There's some white warrior from the north in the Game of Thrones. Conspiracy of Faith, Focus, Web Peak, Web Merricks. Mom's survival guide. Okay. Mod fails hard. Hartman wasn't happy. Mod could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time, and he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. <coughs> Sorry. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me, because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no, he just, Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing at all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes, tell me, Mrs. Wake, what would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> Yeah, but doctor, you need to 
sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words, the phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this, just a recording. <coughs> but I wonder, it was before I, I was bringed here, brought here. So, is she alive? Still, we don't know. Oh. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Yeah. Hartman had been playing me all along. Oh. Oh. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to split! Save Barry? Okay. Seriously! Barry? About time. Barry, man, I'm glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. Oh, no. never mind. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back Shh, into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Okay. <clears throat> I can you like that? I wonder if he knew that was true. He was really believing it's all fake. Ooh. Smiled away face. On me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Oh, I cannot give me. Ooh. Okay. I need the flashlight. Ah. I missed that. It was like this was very small. Guess I'm gonna go over it. Nope. Then balcony. Nope. Where? Upstairs. Okay. Yes, it's working. I guess. Or I can. I can fix it actually. Tia. 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 Okay, we have a pathway. Let's go there. I need, I need to use. I'll just flash there. Oof! Something, something almost hit me. There's a flare. Okay. Oh, wall drops. Should I watch now? I broke through. Hartman mission. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Suitable subjects. 
Is there anything to grab? No. This, this way, this way. No. I have to hide. I guess I had some luck. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know you want. How should I? To start. Watch. Damn. Where to go? Maybe it has to actually destroy the doors. Mm, I have no idea. Yeah, I guess it has to destroy the doors. <laughs> Just as we now we have the tanks on, but then we have the things to do. One more time. That's not a good. Nice. Okay, can I somehow avoid this? <laughs> One more time. some directions <laughs> yeah I need to give it some directions over here almost damn you got stank there don't you yeah yeah we have a problem Another problem. Let's let's uh, recover some health points. That's one. That's one hit here. checkpoint it's nice there's a cafe i'm gonna grab something else also maybe not hey, come on. Gotta get going. yeah you know never have enough coffee okay the ball thing was interesting really Ow, I'm over here. yeah i see you dude Chill out. I, I think I see also something else. Battery. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Oh my! Barry, much. I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Thank you. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look out! 
Polaris and all of course, stays. Oh my. Open this. Oh, Hmm. Let's just destroy this guy. Ah, or maybe not. Maybe it will block something. The maze. Of course. What was it? Always go left or always go right? I could get out of the. I guess it's not gonna be a hard one. We can go with the right one. The six gun scribble. Don't trust Emil. What's here? Wake sees the old guard stage. And how much is Wake fall? Have I missed again? Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. And appropriate. Right. Mm -mm. I think we're going the right direction. Yeah. Oh. Crowded here in the maze. Move the channel. We'll turn it off. We don't want any fighting. It makes me sad. No, I don't think that happened. To destroy this vulnerability on, on him, make him vulnerable. Uh, yeah, I, it's, he's still not. And I still have those stupid. Yeah, exactly those stupid things. I think we have him. Here, it'll be fast. 
It would be fast with a flare gun. Stop destroying like everything good. It's nice. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Wait, wait, this is a reaction. It reminds me Talos of Principle that we're gonna play tomorrow. Hopefully. Finally, some weapons. Though it's shotgun, but that's okay. There's a mod in charge. Knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Where is Barry? Uh, he's next to the car, but how long? I mean, we are after the maze, we are after some. Okay, there. There's a manuscript page after the gate. Uh, almost got us. Can we leave this one? And by the way, does it kill also if I'm not using the, the brush? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, Barry attacked by Taken. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Okay. Oh, there's Emil Knight. Don't do it. Oh, there's a crate. Yes, great. Awesome. And not. Someone is chasing me. You? Only you? No, more of you. There would be fire ground or something like that, but yeah, sure. Awesome. Great, we're ready for any boss. We are ready. Those are very weird sounds. Sounds. Right. The crows, I don't know. Manuscript page? Hartman sedated Swake. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. 
Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Okay. Let's go to the bar then. Everybody. Here I am. Ow! You're alive! Yeah, Let's someone's behind you. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... I put... Behind me or behind I'll you? Find it. Don't worry about it! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. Yeah, but okay, we have a uh, flare gun, so... I'm on it. I'm on it. And there's also another guy. I want actually... Yeah. Okay, this way it was easy. See, the flare gun is OP. Nice. Show them the quarter, I guess. No. <laughs> oh. Stupid birds. Ah, no <laughs> You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I. No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs. It's my own But Ganji. they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Look out! Look out! my gun in the crash. Oh. Barry was nowhere to be seen. But he was hurt. Barry! Barry! He's oh, in the car. Man, you're okay! 
Jeez, it's good to hear your voice. Oh, nice. I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop. And don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a I'm sheer trying to hear wall. him. He's, ah, help, he's there's coming. something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. Ooh. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? Oh, nice location. You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. I'm pretty sure it's safe there. Barry, the just farm. wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. Go I'm ahead. on the case. Now he's Rambo. Yeah. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Um, do I have to have you know, anything like flashlight? Something. Just something. No. I don't have anything to, to protect myself. Okay, I have this. H. Still and something hunting me? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it is. Turn back on. There's a manuscript there. What is that? I hate not seeing. All of this for this manuscript page. Walter at the Anderson when he stopped farm. the car at the Anderson farm. Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Hmm. There is a cafe back there. Should I go there? Still this thing. Come over here. Oh, I'm more of you. Yes. Unless there is a still thing, the big thing here. Yeah. Woohoo. Launch it. Okay. Almost. Oh yes, 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 or not. Yes. Okay, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. I'm gonna go grab this coffee there. Seriously, coffee. You really guarded the coffee thing, you know. Okay, where's the other one? 
Where is the other one? There were two of them. Are you stuck here? Yeah, you're stuck somewhere. Over there. Okay. Up. Up, 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 up. Okay. Screw that. I'm going. On foot. There's another thing here. Is there anything else that is giving me a light I could use as a protection? I don't think so. Those two pirates will also attack me, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, on the barrels. The whole cart. Just too big. You are too big here. If I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna be hit. Yes. Okay, I think I should start grabbing those. Just run. Should be fine. Yeah, you won't be able to get here. Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. You know what? First, let's let's launch the uh, the flash lamp. Yes, it's not working. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed outrider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Yeah. Sorry for that. So here we can launch the, the lamp there. But still there's there's something behind. I'm gonna check it out. And no, there is nothing, okay. Let's steer that lamp on that gate. the movement in the woods ahead facing the enemy without Flash a weapon light. was dangerous but i had no choice and uh, yeah i would like to take a shovel might help me oh no batteries actually there are some guys there there are some guys what what should i do Oh my god, fatty free? Eh. Best? No, I won't be able. Yeah, I won't be able. No, 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 I don't want to. I did not want to start this again. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. 
Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. And what should we do actually here? Okay, go, go, go. Maybe this time I will be able to. Nice. Nice. No, I'm clicking shift. I'm not clicking P. So is shift doing the same thing? I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. No, and get close to this. I'm just gonna grab the batteries. Mega free assets. <laughs> no. Just go. You are. I'm not going for this battery because this is a nonsense. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. This is a nonsense to go for this battery, actually. Mm -mm. Screw that. I'm not going there. I'm going right to this light there. And I don't want to. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Oh. I wonder if it was possible to actually launch that there. Well, maybe I think we we'll just launch them for some time. Maybe. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry. Caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. What is that? All down to switch heavy duty flashlight? Ooh. But I cannot. Ah, uh, okay. Wonder what is it? What's the <gasps> the longer battery? I think. Cool. Maybe it also kills them. Oh, Barry, go! The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. I don't think that the nightmare is actually <clears throat> using the car, so I guess Barry. I don't feel the power, so maybe it's not. It's only the battery. God again or kind of the white. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a space suit. He Gandalf. was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. It's a Gandalf. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. 
but it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Mm hmm. Okay, with flares we can kill. No, I don't know. Oh, the traps. I thought that's gonna be another manuscript. Those are the traps. Anything up there? Except the enemies? Okay, another manuscript there. I'm gonna just go here. Because I have a feeling that something is coming. Okay. Pick it up. Read it. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. And there is a gun. Someone had reached. left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The taken are filled with darkness. Thank you. 